everybody. So I'm starting a new game series, Paranormal Sight. And uh, we're going to start playing that series now. So um, yeah, let's enjoy. Alrighty. Well, let me introduce myself. I have a storyteller. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I shall be your guide moving forward. Now then, before we begin our story, there are several things that must bring to your attention. In fact, uh, let me know if you guys would prefer me to read this or not read this, because uh, sometimes I find that people think that uh, it's a little uh, distracting. So uh, I might try to not read the dialogue and uh, just comment on the game, unless you guys want me to read it. So just uh, leave that in the comments.
I said rich. And no, it's not. It's like crazy pumpkin. Sugar? Sugar, are you alright? Eh. 
Hey, can you hear me? Sleep here. You gave me quite the shock. Come on now. Up with you. Up. Okay, and there. How's that? All right. You feel dizzy? Have a headache? Are your humors off balance? I think there's definitely nothing wrong with my humors though my head's still a little fuzzy uh oh that doesn't sound good turn your head around a little bit to see if you can walk alright seeing as how you know the name, but weird. Anyway, you seem a little out of it. Why don't you look around a little bit more? Ugh, still a little woozy. What the hell's wrong with me? Wait, where am I? I should take a look around. Sumida City, Tokyo. We're at Kin Kinshibori Park near Kinshicho Station. Yoko brought me here saying she needed my help with something important. It's just past midnight. That explains why there's nobody else around. I'm thinking she's using us. We're in 23 districts in Tokyo, located in Okay. I like the detail. Nice. Okay, so it's we are somewhere after nineteen fifty. We know that. Alright. Okay, we're good. Yoko Fukunaga. Good, at least I can remember that much. First met her about a month ago. She's 23, works as a housekeeper, and is really into the occult. Oh yeah, she's using us for something. That right. If I think harder, I can probably recall a little more about what's going on. We only met a few times, but we've really hit it off. She's a lot of fun to be around. I have no idea how she feels, though. I get the sense she isn't thinking about me that way right now. But I know I've got a thing for bubbly girls who are into dark things like the occult. Yeah. She, she's using you for a curse, man. Or something. Alright. Yoko has a dog. Shiba Inu named Ogopogo, which has been by her side since she was a student. That's a cool name. Okay, recall. Thank you. 
remote remnant that I can use to curse things. If you want to get lend a hand. Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help, but... Uh, are you really a good Samaritan? Or are you after, you know, something else? Uh, definitely the other thing. Haha, <laughs> you're funny. Hey, at least you're up front about it. Okay, I guess it'll just help me. Searching for one of the seven mysteries. Supposedly, this is the location of the Whispering Canal. The what? You know, the dark one? The one we have must resurrect to bring about the end of the world? Now, that would be. There's gotta be more to it. After all I've done, I still haven't found a thing. Mm, big surprise. It's like one of those ghost hunting TV shows. That was the first time I met Yoko Fukunaga. Once or twice. Ari, I'm playing this game right now. Are you okay? I don't know. But she never brought up the seven mysteries of Honjo again. I figured she got bored of it. Oh no, she's using you for it. She kept it secret from you because she needs you as a sacrifice, I think. Ari, come on, stop. Until today, when all of a sudden she decided to resume her search. At midnight. Huh? Wait a second. Where did Yuko go? Uh oh. According to Yoko, the Spring Canal, one of the seven mysteries of Honjo. Ah, oh, there she is. It's around here somewhere. It's apparently the story of the, the expression of the at the canal where she comes from. Wasn't I found in the canal? I think I left a note about it. I should check my files. But okay, one second. What's in the canal? All right, I gotta check my files. Let's check the files. Seven mysteries, I guess. Let's break it down.
It's weird. Show feet. A man who had been visited by the foot every night asked a friend to trade houses with him. That night the foot stopped appearing. What? He's cursed by a giant foot? Just now. Wait. Files. Mm -hmm. 
Save off the save early. She's hearing things. You're hearing things. No, I didn't hear anything. You sure you just didn't imagine it? Maybe I did. But you're a special talent. You should have been able to hear it. Pay closer attention for me, okay? My special talent? What are you talking about? Huh? I mean, your spirit sense. You look like you can handle your liquor. Yeah, that, that's my spirit sense. No, I just built it up in college. I have no idea what drinking has to do with it, but I don't think so. Hmm? Well, you must. I mean, you can see me, right? Oh, boy. Huh? Uh oh. Oh, jeez. Um, um. Lights are plenty here. Stop signs everywhere. I don't know how she's so comfortable talking about spirits and paranormal at this time of night. Either she's got guts or she's used to it, unless she's a friggin' ghost. I've got most of my memory back, but I still feel a bit out of it. Okay, can I maybe call the police? I'm gonna go now. Anywhere? Can I go anywhere? Anywhere at all. Kidding, right? About what? I mean, just now. Kind of sound like you were just saying that only people with spirit sense can see you. Come on, put it together, Shogo. Oh, of course that was a joke. Duh, you don't really think I'm some kind of evil spirit, do you? I didn't say evil spirit. I didn't even say spirit. I thought I could have said good spirit, but yeah, I meant what I said about your spirit sense being strong. I bet you could down a whole gimlet in one gulp. Seriously, that's the real reason I asked you to help me with the seven mysteries of Honjo business. Not because I'm into you. Okay. Let me just clarify something. Dude, you should be like, okay, so I'm out of here. Sure, I could handle a solid Moscow mule. What? Why are you measuring this in terms of cocktails? Not a believer, huh? Well, that's no matter. But you have seen some weird stuff over the years, right? Weird stuff? Yeah, like things you can see but never understand? You can't be serious. Uh, I've seen ghost 
shows photos in magazines before, but are you really telling me they exist? You bet they do. But you can only recognize them if you really believe in them, so be careful. So even with my skill, I won't be able to see them if I doubt they exist. That's right, that's what... <laughs> The spirit world is all about mind and soul. You won't be able to see a thing unless you're properly in tune. But sometimes people get caught up in the moment thinking they might see something. And then they really do because they believe they would. Is that how that works? Yep, just like drinking. You'll never know how much booze you can handle unless you're ready to down some shots. I'm still not sure I get the drinking thing. Huh, you know, I didn't realize how strange it was that some words that left my mouth. Sheesh. Yeah, this date's getting worse and worse. I did some research on the seven mysteries of Honjo at the library. You did? What did you find? I discovered a few interesting things. Oh, tell me everything. So I read some of these stories, and none of them were wrong. Scary. I thought they were supposed to be ghost stories. That's true. They're more like a collection of superstitions, really. But there were some pretty disturbing ones in the mix. Yeah. Like the one that's supposed to take place here. The Whispering Canal. People who fish in this canal over here, but yeah, I, I, we read this. Right, right. Is that what you expecting to find here in the park? Um, not quite. We were talking about a folk tale from hundreds of years ago. After centuries of the telephone game, who knows if it's anything like the original story. So basically, the true story of the Whispering Canal might be completely different from what we know. Exactly. I'm sure it is. I mean, weren't you curious? About what? People from around here might have an expression left at the canal, right? Oh, like something's left at the canal, not left of the canal. That's true. She was saying the original story maybe did involve someone being abandoned. As I'm trying to find out. Ah, gotcha. So what's this rite of resurrection? Oh, your memory is as strong as your tolerance. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna start, okay, yeah, Martini Man Shogo. Really climbing up the drinks menu, huh? So, you know about it, huh? The Rite of Resurrection? A magazine ran a feature on it recently that got practically everyone talking about it. Really? Maybe that's where I heard about it. Still, I don't know. It seems a little too far fetched to be true. So, the Rite of Resurrection. Dead Back to Life, talked by famous Onyoji from an ancient age. Alright, so something was discovered. I sure know a lot about this stuff. That's because I'm secretly a huge... I don't think there's anything secret about it. Yeah, I kind of got that. Oh. If a researcher spoke about it at an academic conference, it must have some basis in fact. Uh, no. No. Yeah. Now I'm starting to believe it too. I've got a show to tell you about. It's called Ancient Aliens. You'll love it. Good. The pursuit of the unknown starts with belief. I got that from... Professor Ariyashi himself. 
All right, she himself. I think she's being less than uh, sincere with us. changed. this. What's 
What's going on? Did something happen? Yoko? Oh no. Oh no. Yoko? Yoko? Uh, ah! Uh, um. Huh? What the? What is something? What is it? Why is this happening? Answer me, Yoko. No way. You can't be. Why? Uh. Gotta calm down. Calm down. Damn it. You don't know she's dead. You're not a doctor. It's fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Difference? Her body's getting stiff. Her skin is cold. I don't think she's breathing. She looks more like a mannequin than a person now. I don't think there's any coming back from that. I don't get it. Just a few minutes ago, we were chatting away without a care in the world. Yoko. How did this happen? I got someone so bright and bubbly just suddenly dropped dead. Resurrector. Huh? Oh, that's right. That right resurrection she was talking about really does exist. There might be a way to bring her back. If someone could just drop dead out of nowhere like they were cursed, then why shouldn't there be a way to bring them back to life? A belief in it, so if I believe in her, it seems completely possible. Maybe, just maybe, I can still save her. Even if I gotta deal with spirit senses and curses and whatever, I've gotta try. Wait for me, Yoko, I promise. I use the right of resurrection to bring you back. Right before she died, I felt the strange presence a few times. It seemed like she saw something. Something that shook her to the bone. There's definitely something strange going on. Maybe it's still there. What could she have seen? She mentioned this, that the rite of resurrection and the seven mysteries were connected. So maybe whatever it is she was she saw something to do with the Whispering Canal. Whoa! Damn it, the presence again. It must be around here. But where? Alright. So anyway... Um... I think we will uh, save my game here. 
and we'll pick up from there. Um, thank you everybody for coming, and we'll see you next time.